Hello Standard 5. Today we are going to learn a lesson found on page number 60. The name of the lesson is A Battle in the Jungle. This battle in the jungle has been extracted from a book named Around the World in 80 Trains. This book was written by a British journalist and her name is Munisha Rajesh. She travelled around the world in 80 trains for four months. She writes this book around the world all about her is all, it is all about her experiences as she travelled around for four months in the 80 trains. In today's lesson, this author Monisha speaks about her experience she had in a sanctuary or a sanctuary. A reserve or a sanctuary is a place where an endangered species is kept and protected so that it doesn't become extinct. Like for example, you say the tiger is an animal that is slowly becoming extinct. So to protect the tiger, we have these sanctuaries or reserves. Today, when we are going to study the battle in the jungle, this story is told by the writer herself who travels and tells us her experience, her travelling experience in the jungle. That is, her travelling experience is called as a travelogue. Now, let me begin by reading the story. This is an excerpt from a travelogue in which the speaker describes her experiences of travelling around India on different trains. Now you'll find this story in which the writer or the speaker tells her experiences as she travels in the trains, in different trains in India. One of the trains that she boarded is the Maharaja Express. The name of the train she once climbed on is Maharaja Express. It stops at Ranathambur in Rajasthan for a short conducted trip to the Ranathambur National Park, a renowned tiger reserve. Now let's find out her experience there. So they said that uh, the speaker, she climbed up a train called the Maharaja Express. Then the uh, train stopped at a station called Ranathambur. Now this place, Ranathambur, is in Rajasthan. And when they got on at this uh, Ranathambur station, there they were supposed to visit one Ranathambur National Park. And this park is a tiger reserve. I told you a reserve is a place where animals are protected. Here you have a tiger reserve. It means to say that the tigers are protected. So these people in the train had to get down at Ranathambur and then go to see the tiger reserve at Ranathambur National Park. Now let's, now let's carry on. The Maharaja stopped at Ranathambur at dawn. So when they say the Maharaja stopped at Ranathambur means this train stopped at the station. Which station? Ranathambur station at dawn. At dawn is early morning. As I jumped down from the train steps with the other passengers, the cold air hit my face. There was a mist around the carriages and when we spoke, our breath came out in puffs of smoke. So the speaker got down from the train and along with other passengers, when she got down, she said she could feel cold air striking against her face. And then she said she could find mist around the carriages. Mist is early morning, you find a kind of mist is called, like how you call it in Kannada, it's called manj. So they found mist around the carriage and uh, whenever you s have this mist around, and you breathe, you'll find that you must have had this experience where you'll find the mist coming out of your, a kind of a smoke kind of uh, thing coming out of your, of your mouth or when you, whenever you let out your breath. It looks like puffs of smoke. Three jeeps waited for us nearby. Our driver Raju handed rough blankets to us as we scrambled into his jeep. Then we rode off to Ranathambur National Park. So then they said they got on from the train. Then there were three jeeps waiting for them to take them to the park. 
they had to jump and go into the uh, quickly climb into the jeep so when they say scrambled into the jeep is walk quickly and get into the jeep and once they got into the jeep their driver who was driving the vehicle was raju his name was raju once they all climbed into the jeep the dra- the driver gave them blankets because it was quite cold and uh, as soon as the people got into the jeep the driver started the jeep so it means we rode off means they started the jeep and started their journey to the national park after 2 hours the sun had climbed high high enough to make us feel warm as they traveled for 2 hours the sun rose it came up so it rose so high that the people who were feeling cold started feeling the warmth of the sun so they didn't need the blankets we were admiring two beautiful turquoise kingfishers with orange bibs when a yelp echoed in the silence of the forest so they said as the as it became warm and they were traveling in their jeeps towards the national uh, park that is the forest area or a jungle they said they happened to see a kingfisher a kingfisher is turquoise in color turquoise is somewhat greenish blue in color like that peacock feather that you have a greenish blue in color you had this kingfisher a bird and it had orange bibs orange bibs is just near its uh, uh, chest it had a round uh, around its chest it had a color of orange as they were admiring that bird they heard a sound a yelp is a kind of sound a kind of uh, cry for help or a warning sound it is called as yelp the forest was so silent that they heard the sound of of something crying a guide helped a hand a gu- a guide held up a hand and tapped raju on the shoulders to stop the jeep the guide who was taking them to the park he told the driver stop it there's something happening this is a warning call from a deer this means she has sensed a tiger he said so they uh, as soon as uh, the guide heard the sound he told raju stop the jeep and you can hear the sound of the deer that sound of the deer is giving us a warning that it has seen a tiger it is warning everybody in the jungle that it has seen a tiger that is why you can hear the sound of cry of this deer raju drove the jeep over the jeep over the bumps in the track and up the hill startled by the sound two sambar deers jumped away from the cr- road as the je- jeep was uh, going in the path of the jungle the path of jungle will not be smooth like a dambar road it will be very rough with ups and downs so as the uh, j- jeep, jeep was going up and down up the hill and down there was a lot of a s- lot of sound so when uh, there were two deers who were grazing at the side of the road as soon as they heard th- the sound of the jeep they got startled and jumped and ran into the forest we saw another jeep in front of us its passengers standing on seats everyone was looking at a moment in the trees where a tiger was walking away stealthily flicking his tail he was camouflaged by the long grass as they were traveling in the jungle opposite they saw there was another jeep coming and uh, in that jeep they saw that all all the passengers instead of sitting in the jeep were standing and looking in one direction as soon as they were look as soon as they saw those passengers looking in that direction everyone turned their attention towards that direction and what they saw they saw a tiger which was shaking his tail they said flicking his tail was moving his tail and then walking into the forest and then they said he was camoufl- camouflaged by the long grass camouflaged means he was covered or you could not make out the difference between the tiger and the long grass you have long dry grass in the forest where these uh, tigers especially can hide now the look at the long grass you will find it like bla- g- yellow and black yellow and black wherever there is grass it is yellow where there is no grass it grass it's black so the tiger also has yellow and black stripes so once the tiger enters into the grass you cannot make out the difference whether there is a tiger or not so it was totally disguised or camouflaged into that grass raju drove deep the jeep up and around the bend 
to the other side so that we could get a better view. Raju took the jeep to the other side so that the passengers in the jeep could get a view or could see the tiger properly. Just as we turned around the corner, the tiger appeared on the track and paused, turning to look directly at us. As soon as uh, Raju took the jeep and took and turned it so that the people could see the tiger well, the tiger turned and looked at them and stood and directly looked at them. Isn't that threatening? It isn't that frightening? Just imagine you seeing a tiger directly, directly in front of you. So the tiger just looked at them, stopped for a time, for a minute and looked at them directly. Then he calmly leaped onto the road and walked around the back of the jeep and into the trees. We sped downhill into a clearing but then Raju braked sharply. So they said, after, but uh, since it, uh, the people did not or the passengers did not react in any way, the tiger just looked at them. Then it jumped onto the road and then went close to the jeep and went into the for into the trees that means into the forest after that once the tiger went into the forest raja took the jeep and started driving it at last they came to a clearing a clearing is an open area an open area there when he, he came to that open area where there were not much of trees or grass there raju suddenly put a brake to his vehicle why did he stop the vehicle less than 20 meters away was the same tiger. His head was lowered and paws were raised. He had spotted something. So I said, the, why did the driver stop? Raju stopped the vehicle because he said there was a tiger around 20 meters away. There was a tiger a little far away. His head was lowered and his paws were raised. You could find that his head was low, bent down, but his legs were raised in the a little higher. It, they saw him doing that. Now, whenever a tiger is angry, you'll find that its head is low or it's going to attack something. You'll find its paws up, its feet up. Following his gaze, we saw the hidden in the trees. That hidden in the trees was another tiger. Now, this tiger was bent low and looking at another tiger. How did they realize that was? They looked at what this tiger was looking at. And when they look at, looked at the direction in which that other tiger was looking, they found that there was another tiger inside, inside the hidden in the trees. The guide told us that this was a tigress named Machli. Now the guide told us, told the, the people there that the, the tiger that is hidden in the trees is, her name is Machli. Machli was known as the queen of the jungle. She was 15 years old and was the pride of Ranatambor. She was still watching him her, her tail curving dangerously. So they said, Machli, what she did, she's called as the queen of the jungle. And then she's around 15 years old. That means she's quite big. So she's called as the queen of the jungle and the pride of Rana Tambor. Pride of Rana, Rana Tambor is the whole mm, uh, reserve, national reserve at Rana Tambor is proud to have this Machli in the, in the forest. They speak of Machli as something they are proud of having this tiger Machli in their forest. And uh, they looked at Machli. Machli was looking at uh, the other tiger. But you will find that her tail was shaking. You know, no? uh, when they are angry, you can you even see this uh, behavior same along with the same behavior with a cat. When it is angry, it shakes his tail. So the same behavior you will find that Machli was doing. Machli was shaking her ta tail and curving it as though she was very angry. When the two big cats were less than a few meters away, they bounded towards each other. At the last second, they deeped up, paws outstretched and clashed midair, sinking claws and teeth into each other's necks. So they said, when the two big cats were less than a few meters away, they bounded towards each other. So they said, the tigers came walking slowly towards each other and when they came closer, they ran towards each other and jumped. Bounded is jumped jumped on each other and then you would find that their paws were stretched out, were stretched out, were expanded and they started hitting each other with the claws and biting each other, they are biting their necks and uh, fighting with each other. In the jeep, all of us held our breath as we watched the fight. So he said, everybody who looked at the two tigers fighting, they were so shocked that they said, 
they could not breathe they stopped breathing as they looked at them fighting a terrifying a terrifying roar ripped through the jungle as birds flew off the branches screeching the two animals wrestled on hind legs snarling and growling their bodies merging into one gigantic form so he's saying yeah i don't know how many of you have seen a tiger fight but then they have described how the tiger fought they're saying you could hear the sound of roaring so a terrifying roar that means the roaring was so loud it was it was scary they said ripped through the jungle that means throughout the jungle you could hear the sound of these two tigers making a sound and fighting against each other there were some birds that were sitting on the trees those birds flew away they flew away from those branches because of the sound that was screeching that means they also were scared the two animals wrestled on hind legs snarling and growling their bodies merging into one gigantic form so they say you look at these two tigers they were, they were fighting on hind legs they were standing on their back legs and uh, they were making a huge sound and making a roaring sound and snarling sound and both of them were together fighting against each other Lo- they looked like one huge big tiger fighting rolling on the ground so badly they were fighting this went on for a few minutes but muchli was not known as the queen of the jungle for nothing so they said they kept on fighting both the tigers fought with each other for some minutes and at last they saying but really to tell you muchli is called as the queen of the jungle we could call her the queen because the way she fought only because of that she is called as the queen of the jungle she fiercely slashed her claws across the other tiger's face she took her claws and just hit the other tiger with one claw on the face the tiger moved back slowly and limped away to lick his wounds as soon as muchli hit the other tiger with a paw the other t- tiger was wounded that immediately the tiger the other tiger decided i will not fight i am defeated i will not fight it just got down and uh, it, it was hurt badly it turned back and uh, started walking back and started licking all the wounds that it got all the hurt that it got it was licking it and just went back muchli just looked at this uh, other tiger till she crossed and then after that she went into the trees and sat down and licked her paws our guide watched her with a proud smile on his face the guide looked at uh, um, at muchli and with very happily with very proudly he smiled and he said the 15 year old has won the battle he declared so the raju the the guide uh, told the passengers you know who won the battle muchli the 15 year old tiger won the battle there was muchli sitting contentedly when raju started driving us back to the base the other tiger was nowhere to be seen so he said uh, muchli was very happy that she defeated the other tiger contentedly 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 means very happy and satisfied that she defeated the other tiger then the dra- dra- raju the driver took the vehicle and came back they could not see the other tiger at all probably it got hurt it went off somewhere but then this was the end of the fight between the tigers now this is the story told by monisha uh, rajesh and her experience in the jungle i hope you just un- uh, understood the story and enjoyed it thank you